strange bird, that one. And boom goes the dynamite! burns. Those blast points too accurate for devil riders. Only the lasodactyl is so precise. We'll have to track it down and kill it before it strikes again. Well, the town's a little safer thanks to you, but the skies are just a bit less majestic. Unless you make a kite out of them. Forest told me someone was coming. So, why are you here? Juno sent me. Juno? I haven't talked to her since she went and moved into that human cage they call a town. Can't imagine what business she'd have with me. What's this about? Need some intel on the Ruiner. Rose is trying to hatch it. Of course she is. The fool. 
This way. Come on now. I'll tell you what I know. But I need your help with something. The Ruiner. Ha! Company always loved its dramatic name. Interitus Regina was designed as the apex of bioengineered weapons. Company scrapped the project when they realized it couldn't be controlled. There's a piece of raw core over there. Grab it for me. I used to work for the company, you know. The Dominus Project. That was mine. We had... Good, good. Now, bring it here. You'd think these maps would be more susceptible to the elements. Just give me a moment to work. You see, I believe I found a way to temporarily charm hostile creatures, and even humans. <laughs> the Mentus Dominion, or Mentonats, to keep it simple, are a unique species of parasitic bugs, which, when exposed to infused core, can seize the minds of their victims. In theory, anyway. Now for the final step. Ooh, this is exciting. Infused core. Quite a bit more potent than its raw form. Go on, take it. This way. Come on now. Now, add a small piece of the infused core to each of the Mentonat's breeding containers. There are only a few left that still need it. I've already taken care of the others. If my experiment is successful, You'll be able to temporarily turn enemies into allies. Meaning you just might survive this place. And sure, Rose may have passed through here safely, but she has her own methods. Now that that's done, we'll finish my experiment and make those bugs work for us. Go on. I'll give you the honor. Release the men to Nats, and we'll see if the experiment was a success. Look! Out there! It's working. The bugs will now be attracted to the Gallius Vitium Flora across Gale, more commonly known as Traitor Weed. As she... Marvelous. But there's one more step. Come here. Before we can call the experiment a success, we must try this on a live specimen. This way. Bunctious beasts, aren't they? But we can change that. Yes, indeed. Damage the traitor weed plant to see the results of our efforts. The Mentonats will then seek a new host, thus taming the belly. I'll be in here taking notes. You didn't doubt me, did you? Ha ha ha, the joy of discovery still thrills my heart. Wait, do you hear that? The wild relics, they're coming. I don't like seeing one of their kind dominate this way. The bugs, the bugs, don't forget the bugs. Turn them against each other. Better luck next life. There, you see? The Mentonats will help keep you safe. Well, 
safer, at any rate. Now come, I'll show you the way to Rose. As I said, Rose went to the mines to load up a train full of core. With enough, she may succeed in hatching the Ruiner. That cannot happen. You must stop her. This is as far as I go. Farewell, gunslinger. Everyone on this backwater rock knew about Oletta. Some said she was the one who told Rose about the Ruiner. Then again, some folks are liars. I should know. Well, looky there. You see those uniforms, symmetrified wounds? Looks to me like the Hydragoyans work. Do us all the kindness and relieve the beast of its hide, would you? Devil riders were loading the train down with core. Thought no one would be crazy enough to try and stop them. Time to show them different. There was a valve that controlled. down the controls. So the Vault Hunter took to some righteous destruction, as was their want. didn't know where that train was headed, but knew if it got there, it was gonna be trouble. The question was, I had to stop it. Gonna need a whole mess of bugs. They did indeed need bombs. should know where Bella's at. Oletta, come in. You got any intel on Titus's pet, Bella? 
Of course I do. She's at Ginfor Grotto. I've got some foraging to do, so I'll take you to Bella's den. Try and keep up. Well? Don't keep me waiting. <clears throat> Oh, there you are. You ready to find Bella? It was a real sorry sight the day Titus came to release Bella. Waterworks like you wouldn't believe. That boy's got a soft spot in him. Too soft for Gehenna, anyway. But I saw how he doted on her, and, well, I can't say it wasn't endearing. As it turned out, Oletta wasn't all hard edges after all. Imagine that. a whiff of Titus's scent, maybe it'll jog her memory. <laughs> and I've got just the thing. A pair of Titus's trousers. Don't ask. Oh, but I really want to. There are some mysteries we ain't meant to know. We need to draw Bella out of her lair. Get some prime devil meat as a lure. There are some feisty devils that dwell in the cave system up ahead. Magnificent specimens. Butcher them for some grade A devil steaks. Careful, though. Some are radioactive as nuclear waste, and the others are coursing with electricity. Take your pick, because Bella ain't exactly picky. Bella was a runt when Titus set her loose. I didn't think she'd last a day. Made of herself a matriarch. Girl's got some fight in her, no question. We'll see how she reacts to you. No promises. <laughs> Active meat didn't look too appetizing to the Vault Hunter, but what did they know about the Bellic's diet? Huh? <gasps> 
gathered up all the electrified meat, too. It's always nice to have options. The Vault Hunter knew what to do. It was time to draw Bella out of her lair. They decided on the electrified meat, looking to lure out little Bella. And what do you know? She took the bait. Now, Bella seemed friendly enough, but would she take to Titus's scent after all these years? Vault Hunter placed the pants on the ground. Titus's pants smelled like dreams deferred and a yearning for something lost. Also, days old hotcakes for some reason. Looks like she missed Titus as much as he missed her. But the local Bellocks didn't take too kindly to their matriarch turning her back on them like that. Seemed like she was following a scent on the breeze. Hell of a nose on those bellies. Vault Hunter tailed her to make sure she made it. Look at you, girl. What a specimen. But there's someone back in town who misses you. You remember Titus, don't you? Wait! You have another pair of Titus's pants? This just keeps getting weirder. Hey, I said don't ask, didn't I? You ready to go, girl? Can that thing really understand you? Let's just say it's part of my charm. At any rate, I'm sure Titus will appreciate what you've done. I'll pick up the reward from Titus when I get into town. Here's your cut. Let's go, Bella. You haven't forgotten your way back to town, have you? Oh, come on. I'll show you. Vault Hunter decided to go speedlocking through the core mines, looking for explosives. The company wasn't all scientists in suits. A lot of folk worked these mines back in the day. Work paid well for what it was. Still, plenty who went down into Gehenna's heart never came back up into the sun. Bombs 
were looking mighty handy for a place to refine core for a bit of extra. The runner was my grandmother's project, you know. She put her heart and soul into it. Then the company got cold. But I'll finish it. Now that I've got a handful of bombs, it's time to locate the train. And blow it up. No time to lose. Vault Hunter had to find a shortcut. Company never bothered to clear it out. <laughs> yep, told you they'd back the punch. The shortcut worked wonders. Vault Hunter set to planting those explosives on the tracks. Luckily, the train didn't come along. Done. Trust me on that. That's just how stories work. Bombs were set. Now for my favorite part. <laughs> Boom. The explosion echoed through the forest, and those devil riders didn't even get a chance to hit the brakes. <laughs> Now the Vault Hunter needed to find out where that train was going. Figured the conductor would know, if he was still in one piece. Ask about our one-click buying plan. When your trigger goes click, it's time to buy. Support local business. Sell to Marcus. I use 
supposed to have one just like that. Beautiful last words out of that bastard. Luckily, that wasn't the conductor. Nope, wasn't that one neither. There he was, the conductor. But your rose is gonna make you pay for that. <laughs> See you in ruin, bounty hunter. called in a friend to do her dirty work for her. <laughs> You're too late, gunslinger. It was time to find out what that cackling bastard knew. Tell me where this train was going. <laughs> Facility. It doesn't matter now. <laughs> what was the last shipment? You too. Juno! Come in, Juno. Rose has been transporting core to some facility. Yeah, I know where it is. Been there before. I'll meet you outside. You ain't getting in without my help. Find me. Nobody. 
family. Call themselves the Riders of Ruin. Do me a favor and show them they don't deserve the name. Access the Telezapper network. It's gotta get you in the system. New user identified. Granting access to Telezapper network. There you go. Now look, Rose must be using core to power a company launcher of some sort. If anything's got the firepower to crack that egg, it's company tech. Find that launcher and shut her down. 
I told you that telezapper should get you where you need to get. Don't be scared. You're on your way now. Not far. Get going. I gotta head back to town. Believe it or not, I put Titus in charge. That mangy bastard better open the gates for me. Watch out for Rose. She got her eye on you. No refund. Got some intel that Jarek Logan is posted up near you. He's got some newfangled tech that makes him hard to pin down. So do me a favor and nail his ass to the wall. Another from the town, cut down in the full bloom of life. Must have been the Minnesota that roams these parts. You go kill that some bitch, and I'll make leather out of what's left. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Hey, boys! That bounty hunter's here. You know what to do. Ever driven a man mad? You ever wanted to? Care to help me get some vengeance? Now listen up, gunslinger. You ever hear the legend of the meat man? Can't say I have. He's a ghost story from around here. It said he's a monster what wanders the vast. A cursed hunk of rotten flesh with eyes of glowing core and a fiery demeanor. Now, I ain't superstitious, but I know a murdering bastard who is. And I say we scare him straight to the end of his wits with the legend of the meat man. First, grab that frame. Reaper Jones is beyond redemption. Now hold on a sec. I gotta get this teleporting WhatsApp back up and running. Suppose you'll want to know who precisely will be wreaking this righteous vengeance upon. Now it's a sure thing there ain't no good devil riders, but this Reaper Jones character, well he snaps it shot. Wicked is too good a word for him. Oh, <laughs> and I scattered a bunch of echo recordings about the meat man around this area to get under his skin. Check him out if you got a mind to. Reaper Jones lives over yonder. Head on through. If he ain't loitering outside, it means he's sleeping one off. Always drinks a flood after a master. See, we're gonna make Jones think the meat man's come for him. Just need to put a few things together to make it happen. But first, you gotta find us some clothes for our meat man. Everyone heard tell of the meat man on Gehenna. Was a time I so scared of meat I ate nothing but quinoa for a year. Fear will drive you to the brink.
we can work with that. Just fine. should just about do the trick. Next, we're gonna need the head of a Belek. But not just any Belek, mind you. It's gotta be the biggest, meanest son of a bitch in these parts. See if you can find one like that. Jones silly for his crimes. And if by now y'all thinking no one deserves such punishment, mark my words. Reaper Jones has cut down countless good-hearted folk in his time. You reap what you sow, and that Reaper bastard's in for it now. Go on then, slap all them parts on the frame, and we're gonna have us a good old time. Yeah, I mean, it ain't bad. But it ain't quite the stuff of nightmares just yet. We're gonna need some fuel so we can give it the proper presentation. Ah! Ah! if we can find Reaper Jones's own damn hat. Maybe the drunk let it slip off somewhere in a stupor. Take a look around. <clears throat> Reaper Jones sees his own damn hat atop the reaper. He's gonna die of fright. It's time to...
to summon a ghastly abomination by lighting it on a fire, naturally. I thought you'd never ask. Get to it then. That should wake the hungover bastard. What in ruin is going on out there? Reaper Jones, you have been judged. Also, you're a dick, and I'm gonna devour your soul or whatever. What? No, this can't be right. Someone's trying to play tricks on me. Hey, get out there and kill that bastard, you layabouts. Looks like the meat man's about to claim a few more victims, huh? seen the error of my ways. I'm gonna be good now, I swear. Just please don't kill me. Well, that seems like genuine fear. But, but I'm not so sure the bastard suffered his share. If you think he ain't out of his mind enough, turn up the gas on that meat man. Really drive the point home. But then again, if you're thinking he really has seen the error of his ways, Maybe give us in some listen. <laughs> Please don't kill me, Meat Man! I speak for the Meat Man. You are offered one and only one chance at atonement. If you should harm another living thing, including, like, mosquitoes and stuff, the Meat Man will come for you. Okay, okay, I'll make amends. No more killing, no more stabbing. I'll even throw away my choking wire. <laughs> the blood on these hands, I'll wash it clean. <laughs> Just please tell me the meat man ain't coming for me and my head. Fine, you're absolved or whatever, but don't... Piss off the meat man again! You hear me? Oh, thank you. I'll dedicate my life to the meat man and his powerful, vengeful spirit. Well, gunslinger, you're a more forgiving soul than I. Time will tell if he's actually been scared straight. In the meantime, I've got something for you for your troubles. Well, well. Looks like there's still some steam in that old legend of the Meat Man after all. Hope those devil riders hear about this, because the Meat Man's coming for them, too. Oh, yeah. Soon enough. Soon enough. At any rate, that was a good old time. Hope you enjoyed it your own self. Reaper Jones ain't gonna forget what happened today anytime soon. <laughs> now, I just gotta thank you for all you done. It all came from here. The facility was a bastion of clever folk and fancy tech. 
and hubris. Company had a name.
won't hear anyone around here offer it freely. <clears throat> Same reason you hold your breath and let you pass your grave. Time to get inside. You know by now that there's always another way in. <laughs> Hell is that, right? that was a ticket. To a lot of folk, the company facility was a tomb. Not for dead men, but for a Gehenna the company buried when they left. Not many of the grit to set foot on the company's grave. You know, my grandmother worked here. Right in this building, in fact. Recruited for Project Endless Horizons. Brilliant woman, so I've been told. And hey, I'm just trying to honor the family legacy here. You understand, don't you, Gunslinger? Huh? <laughs> 
throughout the system to participate in Project Endless Horizons. All of our exciting progress is thanks to Malleus Mutatio, or CORE. None of our projects would be possible without CORE. The element that sparks new life into our bio and flora and fauna. CORE, which fuels our experimental weaponry and tech programs. From our groundbreaking Telezephyr network to innovations in long-range ballistics, this is Project Endless it's almost funny, you know. The company claimed the ruiner could be tamed. They were wrong. Dead wrong. My grandmother was smarter than any of those empty suits. She knew exactly how to control it. And so do I. When the company shut down the facility and abandoned Gehenna, they bombed what they could and left. But my grandmother couldn't leave her work behind. When the last shuttle hit orbit, she was right there flipping at the bird and shouting, COWARDS!
take that. Assistance. You're that bounty hunter, right? Oh, thank heavens. It's my wife, Carolina. She's been kidnapped by a band of devil riders. They're after her mechanical engineering skills. I've tracked them this far, but I'm afraid I can go no further. I'm, well, a bit of a dandy, and they would kill me instantly. But you, you look like a tough... nugget? Yes, please find my poor gentle wife. You may be forced to get your hands dirty with blood. Devil Rider blood? Yeah, definitely no problem with that. Be wary. This gang is led by the notorious Boss Keem. A more brutal and terrible painted I have never seen. Not that I've seen him. He would have killed me. Instantly. Damn shame to lose your wife to a pack of animals like the Devil Riders. Looks like it was time to rescue a damsel. Where can I find the boss? The boss? The boss is, uh, 
Yeah! Boss is in uh, lab 422! Uh, are you... are you gonna let me go now? Vault Hunter had a feeling the coward was holding out. Pressed him a little harder. One more question. What are y'all working on in here anyway? We was working on making the devils even deadlier! Crafting guns under their domes and whatnot! I swear that's all I know! Oh, I'm out of here! Lab 422, the coward said. Carolina would be there. Vault Hunter got a move on. how well that turned out for the Devil Riders. Vault Hunter had a habit of breaking things that weren't meant to be broke. Wasn't gonna stop now. Okay, listen up, but don't stop fighting. Whoever left cage 37 open, come see me if you're alive. They say there ain't nobody that can keep a vault hunter out that wants to get in. Reminder, lock the damn cages after you feed the odd men to devils. We shouldn't have to say this, people. Another thing, augmented devil dunk should be stored in core protected barrels. Don't just throw it in the trash. That's toxic stuff. They're after the experiments. Don't let them leave here alive and save the augmented devils. before I lose my patience. Also, I like your eyes. Whoa, hey! Calm it down. There's clearly been a misunderstanding here. I am Carolina. What? 
Explain yourself, now. Look, my life back in Vestige was duller than a ten-year-old spoon, okay? I was going stir-crazy, and I guess... I just thought I could make a more exciting life for myself out here with the Devil Riders. Listen, your husband, Gustav, is worried about you. He thinks you were kidnapped. Gustav! Oh, my dandy of a husband. He sent you to rescue me, huh? Interesting. Maybe he does care about more than mustache wax and silk ascots. But I got a good gig here. Did you see those devils with the guns? Ah, oh, shoot. I can't decide. Listen, I know I just met you, but can you help me decide the fate of my life? <laughs>